Good morning. Time to get up. This is the Yuma show today. Yeah. It's all about you, bud. Look, I, I'm tired. Come on. We gotta go. Otherwise, you're gonna be crazy puppy later. Look at those eyes. <laughs> there you are, bud. Good morning. Yeah, what's that? My tripod. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Let's see dad first. And I'm gonna see the sister. Kitty. The sister. I don't know. Sister's not here right now. She doesn't like you very much yet. and healthy. I thought I would film a different kind of a video for you guys today. Kind of like day in the life of what it's like to have a 16 week old puppy and like what it's really like to have a 16 week old puppy because let me tell you, it's chaos most of the time. Josh and I have really learned a lot with having a puppy. One of the things we've learned is puppies thrive off of routine. This is Yuma by the way, for those of you who are brand new to my channel. And he does have an Instagram page. I post on there daily about him because there is always something going on, this little clown. And if you guys don't know anything about Vichelas, they are really high energy hunting dogs. And we got one on purpose because Josh does do a lot of bird hunting, especially when we lived in California. And so we've wanted a Vichel for years and now we have one and the reality <laughs> sets in because he is a handful, let me tell you. Right? So we always go on a walk every single morning and we try to go on a really long walk. I take him on my walking route now since he's big enough. We go all the way down to the water, which is about a mile and a half down, and then we go all the way back. So it's about three, a little over three miles, and it's quite a trek, but he keeps up. And I try to wear him out like right away at the beginning of the day. As you saw, we got back from our walk and then I fed him his breakfast, which he always has an egg, spoiled little brat but eggs are very good for puppies. They have lots of nutrients in them. And then I did put some bone broth, I heated up some bone broth in his kibble because he still has his baby teeth. So it's easier for him to chew on the hard kibble. Once his baby teeth fall out in a little while, we won't have to do that anymore, but I think he quite enjoys the bone broth and it's really good for puppies. And I don't know if, it, if this is a puppy thing we're learning. We have to remind him to drink water and I don't think he does drink enough water at times, so. The bone broth really helps with that. But by the way, if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I upload one or two videos a week all about living healthy. And recently it's all been about IVF because IVF is next week. And so just to kind of break up all of those kind of videos, I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys really what it's like to have a puppy, especially a small one like him that's still learning and growing and exploring and what we normally do with this guy. After I get back from the walk, he has his breakfast. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> He's really funny on his walk <laughs> um, when he gets excited and I'll show you guys little clips of us on the pier. He has his hair stands up on his back and that's when I know he's all excited and all into what's going on around him. It was a beautiful walk this morning. It's gonna rain today so that's why I was really motivated, especially motivated to get him a really long walk in. When it rains here, which it rains every single day, the Pacific Northwest, it's quite a challenge to get him exercised. And so whenever there's a break in the rain, it's kind of like when I try to take advantage of that. But his routine is we walk in the morning, breakfast, and then I normally make my coffee, settle down on the couch for just a few minutes while I drink my coffee and let him settle down too for his nap. He takes a really long nap 
Normally I try to get them down at 9.30. It's a little bit later right now, but 9.30 to about 12.30, a three hour nap in the morning. We get up, we have lunch, we do another walk. So if we keep him on a schedule, which we normally do, he is great. When we're off his schedule, like we like yesterday, he was a nightmare at night. Like he, he was just, we had to run him at nine o'clock at night. That's how bad it was. Whenever he's asleep, that's when I try to get everything done. <laughs> so I'm gonna put him to bed soon. And then I have a ton of cleaning to do. Josh, if you wanna like kind of spin around. We kind of cleaned up a little bit, but he's literally taken over our apartment. Everything you see in the room basically is for him. So that's another thing to expect if you get a puppy is you have to, they need a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a lot of cleaning when he's asleep this morning and then we'll see what the day brings us. But it's always something, it's always different with this guy. Yeah, it's never like this. So don't think that this is what like what Avishla had in Avishla's <laughs> yeah, life. Yeah, especially Avishla. This is like maybe 15 or 20 minutes of the day, the entire day. So. Yep. <laughs> Wide awake, I don't wanna play it safe Sleeping in abandoned cars Living fast, don't need breaks Not afraid of big mistakes Until he is awake again. We'll show the world that all you need is good love. We'll blow the doors off every lie they told ya. Just me and you were breaking through like thunder. So baby, hold on tight. We're never letting go. We're never letting go. We're never letting go. Yuma, Josh and I quickly realized that our schedules are not our own anymore. Whatever we do during the day is literally revolving around his sleep, eating, walking, exercise schedule. I have heard that babies are very similar. This is good practice for babies in the future. So I'm hoping that's the case because it has been quite an adjustment, adjusting to this puppy in our lives because our schedule is totally different. And I feel like we're different as a couple, not really like in a relationship, but we've really had to sacrifice our time and really utilize our time wisely. So it's been really interesting seeing us kind of dance around this puppy schedule and he needs to be on a sleep schedule and a walking schedule, otherwise, he is a crazy dog. Also, thank goodness puppies need a lot of naps because otherwise I wouldn't get anything done. He needs constant supervision while awake, especially in the chewing department. The other thing I feel like he brings in all of the world's dirt into our apartment. I mean, like every single day I find myself sweeping. And again, thank goodness he takes naps because that's when I end up cleaning up after him. And again, I hear this is very similar with babies. So, this is good practice, I guess. So it's noon, let me get him up. Um, before I do though, because once I get him up, it's just constant energy and I really can't talk to you guys that well when he's awake. This is what I take with me on his walk. I've showed this on his Instagram quite a bit. It's just a treat pouch, so I put treats in here. And then I do bring his clicker with me too because we're clicker training him. We are working on manners and we're working on sitting before we cross every street because my worst fear is him just running out into, the, into traffic, into the road and getting hit by a car. So I'm teaching him to stop and to sit before crossing every single street, which tends to be tedious on a walk when we just wanna like walk and run and get all the energy out. But I think it'll pay off in the long run. I'm also teaching him not to run up to every single stranger he sees, every single dog he sees, cause he loves everybody and everything. So we're sitting and we're letting people pass by and we're stopping and 
He's, he's getting the hang of it, but he's so excitable. Yuma, not everybody wants you to run up to them. Not everybody likes dogs and puppies. Puppies don't really know how to walk. Actually, they don't know how to walk on a leash. And when we first started walking him, he kept like biting and tugging on the leash. He still does that, but he's learning to like walk at our own pace and not like run ahead where I'm like pulling him back. He's getting better at that. Lots and lots of practice. You know, he's literally taking over our kitchen an apartment you know but they do need a lot of stuff he doesn't need this much but he's really in that like teething stage where he got all his baby teeth in but his mouth i think still is bothering him so we have lots of like chew treats and chew things still working on the laundry still kind of working on cleaning up a little bit but i gotta wake him up because it is now one and he's got to get up because we got to walk him and feed him and he's got to go down for another nap later That was short-lived. Started to pour on us, so we were only walking for 15 minutes, which means hopefully it'll stop. So we can either walk him again in a few minutes or we can run him this evening. Otherwise, we are in for it. But lunchtime. So I'm doing the same thing as this morning with the bone broth, uh, but just no egg, just the dog food and the bone broth. Yeah, you ready? You hungry? You should be. Okay, so because it's still raining and I need to get his energy out, one good way to get your puppy's energy out and you can't go outside or for a run is to drain their mental energy. And so we're gonna do a training session with this guy. I try to do a training session with him at least five to 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes max because after 10 minutes, his attention span isn't there anymore. Right, bud? You ready? He really actually, I think, likes these training sessions, so I'll show you guys what we've been working on. He loves these duck things, duck chew things, whatever they are. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's ready. <laughs> I got my clicker. It's down. Good boy. Look at me. Good boy. Okay, you must place. Good boy. Good boy, Yuma. Yuma, look at me. Good boy. Yuma, break. Good boy. You're good. Good, okay. Leave it. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so I'm gonna work with him a little longer. And I don't know, I think it'll be nap time. Nap number two. So I have a small window to get my workout done. I have noticed since getting Yuma that I've been cutting my workouts a little bit short. And so instead of doing kind of longer bodybuilding style workouts, I've been doing shorter workouts that are like high intensity. So they're just as efficient and effective, but they're shorter and higher intensity. So doing a leg workout today, about 20 minutes. That's all I have time for. I have my door open, so there is some background noise. I apologize, there was a plane flying over. So if you guys find yourself short on time, just do a high intensity workout, like a HIIT session, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Just get your heart rate up really high. Really expend as much energy as you can until you're exhausted, which is just go hard all out 15, 20 minutes. That's really all you need to stay in shape and to get strong, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Rain down rain. So we're gonna play with him in the apartment for a little bit. I might take him out to the garage and see if he'll play out there too. <laughs> so of course <laughs> I cleaned the floors when he was asleep this morning. So they're all slippery, Good slides job. all over. Good job. When we take him to the fields, he like sprints for, I feel like miles. This is nothing compared to that, but I guess it's something. <laughs> Good job. Good boy. You want this leaf? You want this leaf? Please? 
Continues. Congratulations, buddy. You got a cabbage leaf. Yeah, just watch. That's gonna be ripped up. Yeah, you're just gonna shred that. <laughs> so there was a break in the rain, and I took him to the softball field up the street where we always take him, or Josh takes him most of the time, just to run around and hopefully play with other dogs, get him socialized. There was a Labradoodle up there who was only, I think, seven or eight months old. He had never met before, but um, the owner was about to leave with him. So they left pretty quickly. And then we were just kind of there. I let him run around, chase this little, what do you call that rubber thing with a string? It's a bumper. A bumper. And then it started to get really dark and I started to feel uncomfortable. So we came back. That was only about 30 minutes. Better than nothing. I wish it was a little bit longer. I don't know if you can see him, but he's already tearing apart the cabbage. Oh, he does that with Brussels sprouts too. He loves Brussels sprouts. He doesn't eat them. He just tears them apart. But rip. it's entertaining. So, what? I said he likes to rip their wings off. Yeah. Was that good? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna close out the video here, at least for me talking, but I'm getting tired, so I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for bed already. We're gonna have dinner, and then I'll keep filming him throughout the night because he is not done. He's gonna be running around still. He's got one more nap left at seven. We always put him down at seven to eight so that he's not batshit crazy. So we don't... <laughs> oh. Jeez, dog. You hoping something's gonna drop down? Cheese gods. The cheese gods? There's no cheese. Um, anyways, he's got one more nap left from seven to eight, so he's not super batshit crazy. Is he like, I don't know why he goes nuts at night. I hear that puppies do that, like they want to, or their instinct is to exert a lot of energy late at night so they can fall asleep. That's exactly what he does. But the nap actually helps sort of calm him down at night. Then we try to keep him occupied until 10, 10, 15 is when we put him down. And then we do it all over again tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope this is entertaining and brightens your day in some way. I really wanted to film this video for you guys because he is such a huge part of our lives. And I think it's really um, been good for our marriage and our relationship. Like it's a new chapter in our lives opening up and I've heard good preparation for babies. So I can see that when people tell me that. A lot of similarities between puppies and babies. Like I can see that. <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> give this video a like if you liked it because it really does help support my channel. And of course, always remember to be kind to yourself. The next video is gonna be related to IVF, probably along those lines, something like that. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. To be young. To be young. Where your sleeves, leaves floating on down the street. My jamas, my car, my whole social scene. So high are the stakes, every move we make sends us down, down, down in that stream. Even the only life I know, but summer days were shot like warm out from my lungs. It's just the way the story goes. All I learned, I still wish I didn't know. All I didn't know. Sun circles round, gives up, done just as well as anyone. Hard to accept that I'm just anyone. Fearing the only life I know. Those summer days were shot like water from the lawn. It's just the way the story.